Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Talking Trees with Lee. My name is Lee Rumble, your Knox County Extension Agent and ISA Certified Arborist. Today we're going to have an update on a current pest that's out in our landscape here in Knox County. In the past three weeks I've been called out to two different site locations that have had this pest. Now that pest is known as Arborvitae Leaf Miner. Now, Arborvitae leaf miner are commonly found in late April to early May, and they can oftentimes be found just by vigorously shaking your plant. Um, a lot of times what we see are small moths that will try and escape that disruption. Uh, they'll scatter, and then they generally like to settle back into the plant pretty quickly. These moths, of course, will emerge through very, very small uh, exit holes. Now, these exit holes generally can be seen with the naked eye, but certainly a hand lens or a microscope is even better. Now, once these moths emerge in early spring, they're going to come pretty quickly into an egg laying cycle. And these eggs are, of course, going to eventually overwinter come fall. And then in spring again, they will pupate and eventually turn back into a moss to complete that life cycle. Now, what I'd like to show you today is kind of some of the damage that we actually see uh, from the Arborvitae leaf miner. So when we look for damage on Arborvitae as a result of Arborvitae leaf miner, it very commonly will appear almost as if it's winter damage. Uh, what we see is a little bit of browning of the tips of the actual plant. Uh, it may just be a single needle or two in a particular area. But a lot of times you can flip this needle over and we can actually see exit holes. Now again, it's a challenge of course to see this with the naked eye, but I have a couple images that I have taken through my hand lens that will hopefully show more of this damage. How do we treat for Arborvitae leaf miner? Well, so there's a couple different ways, but first and foremost, it, it may actually be a two-part program. Uh, systemic uh, pesticides or insecticides are of course going to be extremely effective at killing both stages, the moth and the eggs or the larva that will eventually feed on these needles. Uh, but more importantly, this time of year, early in May, we can certainly uh, spray the foliage and get a good quantity of the moths that have already matured and are currently moving around the plant. That will, of course, reduce numbers of eggs that will ultimately be laid. And then that, of course, reduces those pressures this next spring. If you need any recommendations on specific insecticides that may be best to utilize, whether they be soil drench or a topical spray, feel free to reach out to me. I've left my contact information at the end of this video, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a great rest of your week.